today's best country, Clear 99. That's Luke Combs and Better Together with Liz and Scotty in the morning. Speaking better together, our guests this morning, who were actually guests that were here a couple of days ago. Uh, we, we got to visit with uh, Sophie and Lindsay Cunningham to talk about the Sophie Cunningham Classic, which is coming up this weekend at Columbia College. Just a, a great, great initiative the first year. So we're going to talk about that in a minute, but we also just kind of wanted to, to catch up with the ladies as well and see what they'd been up to. So we kind of took care of that first as we wished them good morning. Hey, Scott. So good. First question. There is something that I have said out loud for a long time without actually knowing the truth. I have been telling people for years that you guys grew up listening to Clear 99 radio station. The reason I have said this because I know your country girls. Yep. I know your local girls. And I figured, okay, they're local girls and they're country girls. Surely they listened to Claire 99 growing up. Yes, 100%. you're safe. safe. You're safe. Yes. <laughs> Woo, Scotty's reputation can remain intact. All your different partners over the years. That's right. Yeah, I think when I texted you, I even texted you Uncle Scotty. And that's you're now clear, Scotty. But either that's way, funny. yes, we've listened forever. So you're safe. I don't know if I've ever told you guys this or not. Your dad played an important role in the early days of this morning show, of the Clear 99 morning show. And I don't think he knew this, but I used to run into their dad, Jim, mm -hmm. at D. Rose. Yep. <laughs> and didn't know Jim from anybody. He was just this nice guy. We sat down next to each other, just got to talking. And then the next week we were there again. Next week we were there again. And so we would just talk. He was important to me because I was just a single guy living by myself. I needed to know the sorts of things that dads were going through and other sorts of things. Yeah. So this was just a guy who had kids, and he would talk to me about kids. He was a guy that's been around Columbia forever, so he knew this construction guy. I could kind of hear the little, you know, what's that building over there? Oh, that's going to be the new Arby's or, or whatever. That was the extent of our relationship. <laughs> I did not know him kind of beyond that, but we really became good friends doing that. Years later, I find out you two were the girls that he was always talking about taking to tournaments and stuff. And I was like, holy crap, I know your dad, and I didn't even know that. So it was just been kind of fun that he really was. I mean, he was kind of a go-to guy. I only think he knew that, but I used him quite a bit. So Aww. That's really cool. A lot we of people, use him too sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so. good. Don't feel a lot of people don't even realize we have a dad because if he's in a room with any of us or our mom, he like gets no words out. So right. I'm glad that he got to actually sit down and talk to someone without being interrupted by us. Yeah. So that's cool. That's we why he was probably that. always at D-Rose to get away from all the girls. <laughs> yeah. So we get it. You get know, the it. funny part was he, he was always between dropping one of you off and picking the other one up. Uh, yep. at, whether it was a softball, basketball, whatever. Sounds about right. Yeah. Yeah. That's funny. So what are you guys up to now? It's, Sophie, I think we kind of know what you're doing. When, when does the WNBA season start? That's in spring, right? Yeah, so it, uh, training camp starts in April. Okay. Um, then we typically get done around, you know, mid- October, if we make it all the way. So I have been living my best life. I'm not going overseas. I have probably gained 20 pounds and eaten <laughs> McDonald's 24 7, and I have not been happier. And so um, I'll start training here in December. Um, I'm actually going to do some NBA TV work for the Sun starting in December. So I'll be here and there, but mainly here for the most part, and then back out there in. March and April. Okay. So, yeah. Do you like the TV thing? I do. I love it. I, I'm going to do in studio, and I think that's just more my vibe. You're a little bit more prepared and right. know what to talk about. But I just love staying around the game. I uh, those guys out there who work for the Suns are you know elite people. They're amazing people. I feel like they belong to Columbia, Missouri because they're so great. Right. Um, and so they've been pretty easy to work with so far. First game I ever saw you do, it was actually my alma mater. You did a CMO game. Oh yes. Um, yep. and, and it was one of the mom was in town. We were flipping channels. I was like. Oh, no. oh but that's, that's it, Sophie. I was telling you about Columbia. So anyway. Okay, yeah, so, so doing some of that. Yeah, I'm excited for it. All right. Yep. El Breezy, what are you doing? I My am... favorite Twitter handle is Lindsay. She's El uh, Breezy. I should I, probably change that, huh? I just love this. So wait, what are you up to? I am also, um, I guess I never really left, but I'm here in town. Um, I'm working for Stryker. I'm doing medical sales, um, helping on the farm as much as I can. And then um, I am I bought some land. I'm building a house, and I'm getting married. Oh, so, oh my gosh. When yeah, are you getting married? All grown up. Uh, May 6th. Yeah, I'll be getting married. Um, so I got a lot of planning to do. If we make it through building this house and planning this wedding together, I think we'll make it through anything. Yeah, so. I think um, you have the two most stressful things <laughs> yeah. right next Let's to Let's do it all at once. Yeah. You know? so, no, right it, at the it's beginning. Fun. Get it out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> you know, knock it out early. So, no, it's fun to be back in town. Um, we get to travel out and see Sophie play in the summer some, but it's good to be back in Columbia and 
We love it. And it is that love of Columbia that has kind of led to the next thing that we're going to talk about. And the reason that uh, the ladies came in in the first place, the Sophie Cunningham Classic, is going to be going on this weekend. And uh, they were invited to be a part of this because of Coach Norm Stewart. It's a really neat story of how it all came together. And we will hear the rest of that story coming up with Lindsay and Sophie in today's Best Country Clear 99. Liz and Scotty in the morning. We are visiting this morning. We are sharing a visit this morning. We actually uh, had a chance to do it a couple of days ago. But with uh, Sophie and Lindsay Cunningham getting ready for the Sophie Cunningham Classic. It is a uh, basketball tournament going on this weekend at Columbia College. And uh, a little bit later, you're going to have a chance to win some tickets to the basketball tournament. But we just wanted to visit a little bit about the tournament, how it came to be, what they plan to do with this uh, tournament moving forward. So it was great. And, of course, Norm Stewart, a huge part of this. And so we we asked the ladies kind of how did it all happen? How did they get involved? You know, your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> but um, Coach Stewart, uh, we actually get to call Norm now. How awesome is that? <laughs> That's great. Um, Norm and Virginia came to our family and... Um, they wanted us to kind of help him keep his legacy going, which was a huge blessing and honor because, I mean, if he really knew us, he'd be like, no, you know, <laughs> but um, no, he, he came to us and we were kind of just talking about how we could do that for him because he is absolutely amazing. I always joke that I wish I would would have played for him, yeah. but once I see video and stuff, I'm like, you know, it's probably a good thing that... You know, I'm a couple years younger than you because right. that's a little scary sometimes. But we decided to start a, a girls' side of the classic, and um, Norm is all about in, empowering young women, empowering girls to, you know, be their best selves out in the world and on the basketball court. And so he came to us, and we've been putting our heads together. And so now we're we're holding a classic December second through the fourth at Columbia College for an all girls classic. And we were talking off the air a little bit. You guys been playing in tournaments since you were you were little kids. And, you know, yeah, there were girls' tournaments, but in a lot of cases, it was just kind of leftover stuff from the boys, right? Yes. we. You name the sport, we were probably at some national tournament doing it at some point in our lives. Um, but exactly what you said, it would be, um, there are boys' sports or boys' tournaments that are specifically for the guys, really cool experiences. Occasionally, the girls will be linked in there too but there's not one specifically for the girls geared for the girls and that's exactly what we want to do we want to have um the best basketball being played super competitive setting but at the same time like go around the curtain and there's a place to get your hair braided there's a place for massage there's a place to sit down and kick it with us and and just get to use us as mentors too so uh we think it's super important and super deserving as well and um just to piggyback off what sophie said it's just such an honor that norm stewart would come to us and want to partner with us um and i guess you know we were involved in it. We played in it every year that we were in high school. So um, it's been a long time coming, but a really cool relationship that we've been able to build with Coach Stewart. And we're just so excited to host um, the South Cunningham Classic with him. I haven't touched a basketball since like middle school, but you guys make me want to go and join this classic because it sounds so fun. Let's do it. Come on. We'll get a ball in your hands. <laughs> so this first year, it's going to be kind of uh, along with the Norm Stewart Classic. But kind of the hope is to maybe then down the line to make it more of a separate thing, right? Yeah, I think um, big picture wise, I mean, Lindsay kind of briefly touched on it is we, we want to keep it local the first couple of years. But the main goal is to get nationwide the top ranked teams here into Columbia, Missouri. Um, it's such a great place, as all of us know. Right. But it's super hard to get recruits here um, to Columbia. And, and it's an amazing place. And once they're on it, they love it. And so I just think it's important to, to give back to our community. And I mean, these are teams on the West. West Coast, East Coast, and we're right in the middle of the country, and so it just makes sense. And I think that uh, I'm a sponsor by Adidas now, and you know, the more that you can get the these teams in here, the more that they'll do, and then the the Adidas will get to experience Columbia, right. Missouri. And so I just think it's a, it's a great um, ripple effect. But I mean, our our main goal down the road, which it's going to be a while, is to get the top ranked teams here, and you know, choose some of the the local teams here who are doing well that season, and throw them into that mix and give them the opportunity to you know also fight for a championship. So against some of the you know best girls in the country, so okay. yeah. And you guys are also partnering with the Daydreams Foundation too, right? Yes, we are so excited to work with the Daydreams Foundation. Um, you know, obviously they, um, big picture, they give opportunities to kids K through 12 to participate in those extracurricular activities that just 
cost money. So um, we don't know exactly what we'll be able to give. Hopefully, if a lot of people come and show up to the games and buy their tickets to the games, we'll be able to give them more. But we can't wait to work with that foundation and just give our local kids a chance to experience the extracurriculars outside of the school setting. And um, obviously, we both know how important that is. And for everybody, it's important to just have extra stuff to do. So that's a great foundation, and uh, we look forward to partnering with them. Well, it's, it's been neat talking with you guys, you know, kind of the big picture and kind of what you want down the line. But here, just to get started, we got to kind of get started small. So basically, we just need people to, to come to the tournament, to come to the games, to support just buying tickets. You know what? Come out and see some good basketball, right? That's right. And um, we do. Here locally and in our surrounding states, we have some of the top players in the country and so um, if there's a top player in our surrounding states our bordering states this year their team will be at the classic um, we'll have 21 games 12 teams and we're gonna have good basketball to be displayed so tickets are ten dollars a day or 24 a weekend pass um, there's hometown ticketing available on our website or you can pay cash at the door when you get there um, but yeah we the whole point is that we've got to experience the Columbia community and how supportive and fun they can be and we want these other people to get to experience that as well and then like Sophie said it'll just be a ripple effect that hopefully gets bigger and bigger um, but with that being said you know there's a lot that goes into this so if there are people in town that want to get more involved however that looks for this year or moving forward um, please reach out to us there's a lot to do and our mom will thank you so much because she's about to rip our heads off so <laughs> <laughs> our team could use some growing That's funny. okay so you said the website what's the website First the website is sophie.normstuart.org sophie.normstuart.org that's right okay. and we're on social medias as well at the sophie cunningham classic so okay. and we, we, we will uh we'll put that at clear 99.com too mm -hmm. just so if you remember that we'll just put all the links so you can find it i have a feeling just kind of knowing these ladies and, and the support of this community this this is going to turn into a big deal so it'll be cool that you can say i was there the first year you know when people are like hey this is a cool tournament and you'd be like oh phew. You should have been here back when it started. Yeah. Been there, done that. Yeah, we expect it. So, so you can kind of get in on the ground floor of that. And, yeah, we'll put all of the links and all of the information at clear99.com. Well, it's great to see you guys. It's fun to have you in here. And thanks for letting me say that you guys grew up listening to Clear 99, first <laughs> of all. So. Hey, it's a fact. Okay. It's a fact. We love it. We love thanks it. for being a sounding board to our father all those years at d -Rose. So <laughs> didn't even we're know good. <laughs> I'll tell you what, he, he he was a great help to me, and he didn't even know it either. But, yeah. but you guys one. always supporting this town, and I know the town supports you too, but it's just great when, uh, when, when folks can, you know, support their hometown and, and do things like this. And I know... It's obviously something you guys have put a lot of thought into, too, and, and really have some big hopes for it. So that's just really cool, and we wish you guys all the best. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for letting us stop by. We appreciate you guys. It was a ton of fun visiting with uh, Lindsay and Sophie. And, yes, all of the links, all of the information is at clear99.com. So you can go there. You can buy some tickets. You can see the teams that are involved. It's uh, happening this week in Columbia College. Go to clear99.com for all the details about the Sophie Cunningham Classic and see some great, great basketball this weekend. It's a clear country morning. My favorite story about Sophie and Lindsay is that we went to read at We Being, I believe Kara was here at the time, it was Scotty and Kara, mm -hmm. and we went to Rockbridge Elementary. They were having a, a fun thing where people would come in through the day and, and read, and all the kids in the library. It was really cool. Someone said, oh, the kids must have been thrilled about that. I'm like, the kids had no idea who we were because we followed Carl Edwards, <laughs> NASCAR driver Carl Edwards. Then Kara and I read, as we're getting ready to leave, we see that Lindsay and Sophie are coming in after <laughs> us to read. So we were sandwiched between nobody had any idea who we were or cared. They were still on a Carl High, and then they were looking forward to it's Sophie like, and Lindsay. We were just filler <laughs> at that point. It's a clear country morning.